Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need So today I have spent £99 for seven family meals A whole week's food shop for a family of five I am taking on this challenge with my, my whole heart Today I am back with another food haul This time we are trying at Morrison's for a family of five Getting a food shop under £100 Last week we did Aldi and that came to about £96 So you can watch them and compare what store is better for your money Let me know down below what supermarket you would like me to try next And whilst the girl's over here trying to help you out Help a girl out, make sure that you like, comment and hit subscribe We are now over 100,000 subscribers and that's a little bit crazy So without further ado, let's go straight in with breakfast stuff I'm in straight in with a breakfast supplies I got some porridge oats because I needed some new ones. Always get own brand. I got some oat drink. So this was the cheapest one they had in the shops. Normally that's quite expensive. It's normally over a pound just for a litre. I got some whole milk for Tom and the kids. I got some wheat biscuits, which are basically the cheap version, wheat mix, and some rice crackles, which again is rice krispies, but the cheaper version. That's our breakfast for the week. Next up, I got fruit for the week. I got some easy peeler oranges, and I got two lots of bananas. I got the ripe and ready bananas and the ripen at home in the hope that these last till the end of the week. We've still got some apples from last week, so that will be all we need for fruit this week. Next up is household supplies. I got some summer fruits, double concentrate squash, some apple double concentrate, and some toilet roll. This is the also soft, kind, and gentle, because that's one thing that I like to have a little bit nicer one. Like, you gotta look after your tush, right? And for lunches, these were actually a substitution, so they were the slightly more expensive ones, but the whole shop still came under a hundred pounds, literally a 99 pounds, but normally, I'd have gone for the other ones, but Gal couldn't say no to the tomatoes. I couldn't be like, yeah, no, take the tomatoes back. Because it would just mean another trip to the shop. So, we've got two lots of crisps. We've still got crisps left over from last week, so I only needed two lots this week. The classic variety. We've got a loaf of bread. I've still got some loaf of bread. I cannot stress enough. Look in your cob cupboard. Cupboards? Look in your cupboards. Save some money before you do a food shop. Look in your cupboards. Do a stock check. If you don't need it, don't buy it because the amount of times you're like, oh, actually, I did have some of that and it's just wasteful. So that's one thing that always helps. I do a quick stop check and then I do my order. I've got a pack of pepperamis. The girls can have one each and that'll last a week for the new ones. I got some jammy Dodger minis for a treat for the kids. I got some butter. How come nowadays butter is like so expensive? This is like a block of pure gold. Then I got two packs of fruits. It was either these or the wildlife ones, but the wildlife ones had six in a pack, so for the amount I needed, it worked out cheaper to get fruits with the offer on. I got some ham for Lucy's lunch, and I might also chuck some of this into one of the meal ideas. I got a cucumber, because Ruby loves it as a snack, and I got some cherry tomatoes, because I tend to have scrambled eggs on toast or tuna on toast with some tomatoes for my lunch. That is lunches. We then have Tommy's nappies and wipes. I've gone for the Pampers Fresh and Clean. He gets sensitive to the sensitive ones, surprisingly. So we have to avoid the sensitive ones. And then the nappies. I haven't tried these nappies in a while, so I'll have to let you know how they are. But yeah, the Pampers and that were so expensive in the shops. So I'm gonna give these a whirl. I've got your seven meal ideas for this week to feed a family of five and have a nice tasty different dinners coming up. First up, we're going for the Morrisons this week, Sunday roast, because your gal likes a roast. We've got one broccoli, because we found last week we didn't eat all of it, some of it got wasted. I've got some Mary's, Mary Piper potatoes. These will have left over into wedges for dinners for the rest of the week as well. I got some Yorkshire puddings, the kids like these, and I should make my own, I know how to make my own, but it's just faff when there's three kids and they're whining that they want dinner now. So that will do. Then I've got some carrots, we've got some Brussels sprouts and an extra large chicken so we should have some left over for lunches during the week. Meal idea number two is Spanish chicken and chorizo paella. So I saw these and I thought these are such a good idea. They do two portions per pack so I bought four because obviously Tommy doesn't eat much of a full size all the time. And I bought more chicken to make it higher in protein and bulk it out more. So I've got the chicken, I've got a chorizo ring, 
and we also have like green beans in the freezer. Another great tip to keep the prices down, get some frozen veg. It lasts longer, there's less waste, and it's always there to bulk into a meal. Idea number three is homemade carbonara. So for all this you need is literally eggs, some bacon, and sometimes I add some ham in to bulk it out a bit more, and some cheese. I've gone for the own brands of the lighter mature white cheese, and the baking so I think when it's all cut up and cooked in a meal you don't even taste the difference anyway so homemade carbonara we already have the spaghetti but it's literally as quick as simple as those three things it's such an affordable meal next up we have homemade chili dogs so we've got some brioche hot dog rolls these were pricier than the Aldi ones but I do prefer the brioche ones taste wise over normal rolls for dinners like this hot chili con carne packet spices purely because when you've got three kids, sometimes I cannot be bothered to do it all on my own. Some thick pork sausages. I prefer proper sausages, but Tom and the kids like the lips and bum roll sausages. So then we've got some steak mince. Again, that's for the chili con carne and some red kidney beans. I've already got some tomato, chopped tomato at home. So yeah, we'll pour on the chili con carne on top of the hot dogs and it's a chili con carne hot dog chili dog meal next the next dinner meal idea is chicken burgers this week so we've got the four seeded brioche burger buns like i said the kids will have like a third cut out of one of theirs for tommy because they still don't eat a full one we'll have this with wedges for the kids i got these the two chicken quarter pounders because although they eat it and they like it, they're not actually that fussy with it. And for me and Tom, these were slightly more expensive. But I wanna say this is four pound for a pack, so this is more of a treat. Hence why we didn't get the kids it, because they just don't appreciate proper burgers or anything still at the moment. So we got the two scissor fillet burgers. These are really nice. They also did plain ones as well to try. So, chicken burgers. And we'll have that with wedges, can make homemade like nibbly bits stuff like that with it as well. Next up, we're having a chicken kebab. So I got this chicken kebab spice kit. We've got some chicken. We've got some mini wraps. So I prefer these. It helps me feel like I'm eating a lot more, but actually cutting some of the calories out of the wraps that I don't really need. So these are the mini wraps. And then I got the big char grilled wrap for Tom and the kids. So we'll have chicken wraps. We'll also use some of these tomatoes for it and maybe some of the cucumber to help bulk it out a little. We've also got some tortillas in the, like the chips still in the cupboard from last week's shop if you watch that. And we'll add that in as well with some leftover peppers from last week. So we've got some big chicken kebab. Last but not least, the last meal idea is a Spanish enchilada bake. So I've got some chicken, some chorizo slices, some garlic, I've also got some chili powder that I needed, some new. I got some chocos. I got a chili a non carne. So this is like a beans to put in because normally you get like spiced taco beans to put in, but I couldn't find it. So this is the chili non carne. So it's three beans, sweet corn and red pepper to go in and lay on top. And I'll also out of this packet pinch two of the wraps to make the layers of the enchilada bake. So that is our seven meal ideas. So that was my Morrison's food shop for £99 for a family of five. One huge tip that I will say is we got £15 off of this shop. So literally it should have been £114. However, when you get to the end bit, I used a voucher code. So I always Google when I do an online shop like Morrison's voucher code and this is so, so important. Half the time you'll enter four or five names, don't worry. But the odd time you'll find one and it says like 15 pounds off and you get 15 pounds off your shop. I have done this with previous Morrison shops as well. So it's not just a one-off thing. The voucher I used was like VOU1609702. It kind of was like that. I don't know whether it'll work for you guys. Obviously I've already used it, but it is so worthwhile searching and having a look to see if there's vouchers before because you get more for your money. So let me know what you think. Did I get more than last week? Was it better value for money? I still got a full family food shop, but let's see where I go shopping next week and what we can get for a family of five for under £100. I love you all. See you next week. Bye.